Paul, a terrific run comes to an end and in pretty cruel fashion as well. How did you see that one? Yeah, um, it was probably the worst opposition to play at the end of a, a Christmas period, I think. We looked a little bit leggy and a bit jaded, and I think, um, you know, I've said in my previous uh, interviews that they were a young athletic side, um, so uh, they caused us problems, obviously, as did we. We started really well, um, and we had to change our shape because they just kept getting in down the sides inside our fullbacks and that, so we had to change our shape, which gave us a lot more control in the first half, really. After we changed our shape, I thought we were much better. Uh, and then, obviously, I took the opportunity at half-time to put fresh legs on, which gave us a much more athletic... Um, dimension really I thought um, and then it's about taking people off who are you know spent really Kane was spent Nat was spent um, and then I thought the game was pretty even really I know people had a good chance to score just after half time but then it was pretty even it was a bit end to end which makes it even more physical but um, and I thought we were looking okay and then obviously to concede late with a um, um, set piece is disappointing um, and then the last goal is just random and it? it's a ball that we sort of clear and then loops and then um, it's just sometimes it's in the in the stars that you're not going to win and uh, that felt like that today so I'm really proud of the efforts I'm really proud of the uh, um, everyone gave me everything they had but we just honestly came up short you played four games over the last fortnight less than that three wins from that, I mean, and that is some some achievement. Yeah, some return. I mean, these three games, Wigan away, Oxford away, uh, you know, Peterborough at home. If you you said six points before, we thought that's a really good. Uh, but when you two one up at home and you've already got six in the bag, you want another three. You get greedy. Everyone does, me, myself included. And I know we're not going to go from here to the end of the season uh, undefeated, but that doesn't mean you don't want to be. So it hurts. It stings with we've lost it so late on especially but again I've been really proud of the lads over the recent weeks they've been excellent there were some good performances today the game changes came on were excellent as well and there isn't a lot wrong um, we just need to freshen them up um, for the weekend uh, and pick them up and if we win that game or the results go our way everything's great again but at the moment it stings and I understand that you don't want to lose a home game uh, in front of a full house but um, the lads give everything and Hopefully we can bounce back at the weekend. You mentioned the changes at half-time in particular. Did they have the impact you were looking for? Yeah, I thought, well, um, after the first five or six minutes, yeah, it felt like they settled into the game. But Tomo and Sibs give us a bit more drive in there, really. Um, and then Callum Foz was on a booking. And, you know, I think Peter Bowers' attacking players are very good. Very good. So it was a hard ask for all our defenders today. But So Callum came on for Foz, give us a again a bit more legs because um, you know it was a tough half so um, yeah and I was really pleased with them JJ came on and showed parts again but you know it'd been lovely to stand here after a 2-1 win um, not so great with the draw and even worse with the defeat so it's harder to be uber positive but like I said the group are good they're devastated they've lost understandably and um, we need to improve um, again for the weekend. Any thoughts uh, before the game about bringing them down from the ceiling after Friday? Um, and you've said devastated that. Do you think yeah. you'll have to pick them up w once the dust settles from today? Yeah, I think so. I think um, you know, as a footballer, if you if you're on a good run and you win and you win and you win, you feel invincible, which is a great thing. Uh, and then when you lose, you, it just woof, it go, can go straight back to zero if you're not care careful. So it's up to like myself and the staff and everyone around the club to keep the lads upbeat. They've been, like I said, been on a really good run. And if it, it would end 2-2 and I came in and even done this without the random bit right at the end, we'd think, oh, that's a good point against a really good team. They are a very good team. So uh, the lads will hurt. I said to them that you can in not enjoy, but endure the pain for a couple of hours and then just let it go. Enjoy your day with your family. Enjoy resting up and come back with a smile on your face. And we attack the next 20-odd games. It's never easy. It's never easy to get promoted. You go through an absolute emotional roller coaster and you have dips of form, injuries and everything. So... We just need to stay together as a group, keep believing and do the right things more often than not and we'll be up and around there. And that's what I've just said to them there. Like don't you know, don't suffer it for too long, it's gone now, you can't affect it.